Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the match of the week from our rest of the world playlist and it's back to South America to Argentina for the Super Classico between River Plate and Boca Juniors. These are of course the two big sides in the capital city of Buenos Aires. This derby is known as the Super Classico and it is a huge one. If anyone's less familiar with South American football, the Copa Libertadores final was between these two sides in 2018. They were so worried about fan violence in a game of that magnitude, they played the game in Spain at <laughs> the Santiago Bernabeu. So it's no joke when these two sides get together. This is as intense a rivalry as there is in the entire world. We are at El Monumental, the home of River Plate. I'm going to play as Boca Juniors, and honestly, the only reason for that is because I have a huge soft spot for Carlos Tevez. I've been a fan of for a long time. I doubt it's going to be this cordial as the match is played. Players on the pitch get ready for kickoff. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. For the home side, we're going to play a 4 2 3 1. Armani and Gold. That's Yale at right back. Several notable players on the pitch for the River Plate for Boca Juniors. Also a 4 2 3 1. The man I mentioned, Carlos Tevez, up top. Cardona behind, Andrade and Goal. There's a lot of talent on the field. These are the two biggest clubs in Argentina, two of the biggest in South America. Here's a look at our AFA, Argentine FA ball. And we are underway at El Monumental. This is as big a rivalry as there is in world football. That is not an exaggeration. This is if you look up a list of the best derbies in the world, this is not only on the list, it's almost always number one. Oh my god, it's an early goal for River Plate. Sixth minute, Carrasco in the 10th shirt. Wow. Early one given up. So I'm not going to make this one easy on myself. River Plate. Derby is known as the Super Classico. I would say this is the most intense rivalry in world football. It's a huge one. And an early goal, River Plate strike early, 1 0 to the home side. Carlos Tevez, he's been on Boca Juniors for a very long time. Of course, he's, he's played for Manchester United, some big clubs across Europe. He's been with Boca for a long time. He's the talisman for that side. He is an absolutely fantastic player. So I've been, uh, of course, he's a Manchester United fan. I'm a, I'm, there's that link. But I, I really enjoyed him. I think. I want to say the first time I saw him, I really saw him and thought a lot of him in the 2004 Olympics. Or maybe that was 2008. But he's been around a long time. There's a, there's a look at Carlitos. Carlos Tevez. A fan of his for many years. I don't think to watch him much since he went back to Argentina. I certainly enjoyed watching him when I had the chance in, in Europe and playing for Argentina and stuff. Oh, nice ball in the box. Tevez couldn't get to it. This is match day 14. 
Argentine League. Salvio, what can he do with it? Oh no, Via can't get to it. Oh, a lot of space up that left flank for River Plate. Hill Monumental in Buenos Aires. River Plate with the early goal have a 1 0 lead in the Super Classico preview. And it's Boca Juniors. They've had 60% of the possession, 100% of the chances, and 100% of the goals. Can I find a tactical adjustment needed to get Boca forward a little bit more? Give Carlos Tevez and company some chances. Get an equalizer here. Substitution of a match for Boca. Let's see if we can get forward a bit more here. As we search for the equalizer. I don't want to take sides in this one. This is an intense rivalry. I'd be happy to finish with this one in a draw with nobody mad, although I'm not really having trouble getting forward though, so Let's see if I can find the equalizer for Carlos Tevez and Pocazino. Classico, it is River Plate, 1-0 on the early goal. Oops, 
side to celebrate. Let's take a look at our highlights in this Super Classico. The early goal here from Carascal. Yeah, well placed there. Off the post and in. And a lot of action after that goal, but no more scoring. Goodness. This is a pretty intense game. No cards in this one. I doubt that'll be the way it turns out uh, as the match is played, but nevertheless, the competition and intensity were great. I'm sure there'll be a lot of cards in this one, though, as it's played. For the sake of this preview, it's River Plate winning the Super Classico 1 0 at El Monumental. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If there's a picture you'd like to see me play, you can leave it in the comments. If you enjoy this type of content, please do subscribe to my channel for more. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.